Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hetty, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over these Ecoline watercolour brush pens. Now, I'd never used these before, or even seen them before. My husband actually found them and got me them for Christmas because he knew I was just having a big brush pen craze, so he just typed it in on Amazon brush pen, literally, that was it, and these came up, so he got them for me. And they are actually very interesting to use. The brush tip is a lot like the um, Letraset Tria markers. <coughs> Excuse me. But it is a little bit softer, so you do get more of a range of stroke, if you get what I mean. And even the barrels on them are so... they're really nicely designed. They're literally just round plastic. They feel kind of like um, kids markers, but the pigment, like the pictures on them, it's like a watercolour effect. is really nice. But when I was testing these out to start with, because I wanted to see how the colours actually came... Um, they do match the barrels, which was nice, they match pretty well to that, but some of them have a heavier ink flow than others, like the yellow okra, the red and the purple, and especially that um, dark blue, it's really heavy, but then others like the green and the yellow weren't as heavy, so that was kind of interesting to see. Um, I wanted to try using different watercolour techniques with these, like just basic ones, so I tried doing a wet on dry uh, and that worked quite well. Some of it came out kind of blotchy, but in a nice blotchy way, not a ugly one. Because I find when I use normal watercolors, I don't like the blotchy look as much. I prefer it a little bit smoother. But with these, I think it looks better blotchy, which is a very I don't I don't even know. But then I also tried the wet on wet technique to see how well they blended, and some of them definitely blended better than others. Like you can see, the black blended fairly well, and the orange that just blends loads. It's like the ink on that is just it goes and goes and goes, but then the yellow oak grow, the green and the red, you can see where it's not blended as well. But when you blend the two colours together, they blend really nicely, so that was quite a good contrast. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely fun to try these, but for the piece, I wanted to make sure I used every single colour in the pack, which was probably a mistake, because well, it's not, because I really like how the piece turned out, but it was really hard to find a piece I wanted to do using all the colours. But I let myself use my markers, because I'm doing this on um, mixed media paper, Dale Rowley mixed media, and I regret using my markers on that, because it killed two of my skin colour markers. Well, one's nearly dead, one is just... I've had to throw it away, it's completely gone. Because I don't have refillable markers, sadly. But when I was painting... Uh, putting the water on with the pens, they, they didn't react the same on this paper than they did the watercolour paper. Because the test one was just cold press watercolour paper. And they worked really nicely, but then on this they didn't want to blend as well, some of them. So you can see I'm having to keep going over it with the pen to try and blend it a bit more. But then I just kind of left it, and I really like how it turned out. It gave a really nice texture to the clothing and the piece. But it was... it did make it a little more difficult to use. So I wouldn't recommend using these on mixed media paper, unless that's the look you want to go for, then go for it. But the colours in these are really nice, they're so vibrant, which is surprising for watercolour stuff, because I found a lot of it, and when you mix it with water it's still quite vibrant, you have to use a lot of water to get it pale, which is really nice. So that was a good difference compared to watercolours. And even compared to inks, I know some inks do that as well, but it was nice having it in a brush pen, it was easier to control. And I did find when I was doing the blue, that was probably the worst, the dark blue especially didn't want to blend. But you can do a splatter technique, because I actually scraped the cap of the pen on the nib and it splattered over the work, but I wasn't too bothered because I wasn't aiming for a super neat piece of work, because I really liked how the messy painting style was going. So yeah, that's one technique you can do with them. And the other one is you can use a wet paintbrush and get more control with the colour and gradient. Because I didn't want really harsh black lines, I just wanted it a little like as shading and stuff. So I thought I'd try it with a little paintbrush, just you getting a wet paintbrush on the nib of the brush and picking up the colour. And that worked really well. So they these are actually quite versatile for different things to do. They'd be great for like taking um, with a travel watercolour book 
instead of having to take loads of watercolours like the palettes and your, your water brush pens or a pot of water or whatever you can literally just take these in a pencil case with your brush pen your water brush pen and your sketchbook and that's it it's so much easier to carry around and you don't have to worry about the paint leaking out of the palette either so these are definitely something i think i'm going to put in my any of my travel cases if i go anywhere i have no holidays booked for this year but if i do go anywhere these might be something i'll definitely take because they're fun to use for quick little drawings and i think my favorite colors out of this whole pack were the green and the pink they just they look so nice together and the green's so vibrant i do like the blue and i think my favorite part of this piece is the jeans i love how the texture and everything turned out on that it's just it's really pleasing to my artist eye <laughs> and the watercolorist inside me but yeah i'm using my koritake brush pen again to do this one and yeah sorry for the re-upload because this is actually the second time i've uploaded this the first time i don't know what was wrong with the audio but it had just gone super quiet and there was a squeaking noise or something on it so i re-recorded this voiceover for you and re-uploaded and i hope it sounds a lot better but anyway the video is coming to an end now so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye